Okay, tell me when. Hey guys, I'm back today with another healthy recipe for you, and I'm actually making one of my older recipes from the blog. It's my cashew crusted chicken fingers, which have been a huge hit with you guys, so I thought I would share a recipe video for them today. And I absolutely love this recipe because who doesn't love chicken fingers? I'm pretty sure I grew up on chicken fingers, so a healthier version of them made with cashews and just some spices and we bake them in the oven. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we're gonna whip them up together, it's just like, five simple ingredients, it's super easy. You probably have a lot of the stuff in your cupboard already. So why don't we throw this all together and then you'll have a quick and easy dinner that the whole family's gonna love. So let's jump in. For this recipe, you're gonna need two organic chicken breasts. I buy mine at The Healthy Butcher, which is my absolute favorite butcher in Toronto. They have amazing organic meat and that's pretty much where I get all of my meat. And then you're also gonna need some cashew flour. It's sometimes called cashew meal. Um, and it's actually just ground up cashews. And I have a recipe for how to make it on the blog, which I'll link to in the description box below. And then you'll need some spices. So I like to use garlic powder, chili powder, and a bit of cumin. Um, and sometimes I add in a bit of paprika, but it's hard to say that word. Um, but you totally don't have to. And I use an organic egg, which helps bind the cashew meal to the meat. And then, of course, I have to use some sea salt. So for the recipe, the first thing you're gonna do is pour the spices into the bowl, like so. And then you're gonna grab your salt and you're gonna just add a pinch of it. I use about half a teaspoon. And then you are going to mix it up with your cashew meal. And that's it. So you're gonna start with your chicken breasts here and you're gonna slice it. So you'll see it's about, I don't know, I wanna say around 10 ounces. Um, and you're gonna slice it into four individual like chicken finger slices. Don't worry if they're not perfect. Um, every chicken breast is different. So you might only be able to get three, but some might be bigger than others. It's really not a big deal. So you're just gonna go in and slice them Let's see, they'll look something like this. I know, Rami, not cute. Um, and just slice that into four chicken fingers. Grab your meat um, that's been cut into chicken tender, chicken finger slices, and you're gonna dip it in the egg. And what I like to do is use one hand in the egg and then one hand for the cashews, and it just helps to keep things a little bit cleaner. So I dip one hand in the egg, like so, and try and get the extra stuff off of it as best you can, and then put it in the cashew bowl. And then I use the other hand to kind of turn it over inside the cashews. And then it'll be totally coated, like so, and then you just place it right on your baking sheet. And you're gonna repeat that with all of your chicken fingers. Now it's time to bake your chicken fingers. So you're gonna set your oven to 400 degrees, and then you're gonna pop them in there for 20 minutes to bake. And it's just like magic, 20 minutes later, they are done and good to go. These are seriously delicious. Okay, now do you believe me that these are actually the easiest things to make? So there you have it. It's a really easy recipe. I love having these on hand just to eat on their own, uh, sometimes with like a side of fries and veggies. Um, I have a really awesome curly fry recipe on the blog, so I'll include that in the link below. And they pair perfectly with these chicken fingers and kids absolutely love them. Um, and then sometimes I take them and I chop them into like little bits and I throw them on a salad. So it's a great way to add some protein. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe. Make sure you make these. Um, all the information will be in the description box below. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.